Hi everyone, it's Benza here. If you watch my videos, you already know the drill, and if you are new here, first of all, welcome. Secondly, here is an explanation what this video is about. In 2024, I have joined the Game Jam series in which I must make a game for each month. In each month, there are three main themes out of which I must fulfill at least one, and there is an extra theme as well, which is optional. So, the themes for April were Break the Game Rules, game based on a famous painting and Easter. And the extra theme was use somehow a minimap. I think that this time no theme needs an explanation, so we can move on to the ideation phase. For my last entry I got two major feedbacks. My game did not really contain any gameplay, which was true, and it was a bit laggy on weaker systems, which was also true. So for April my goal was to address these issues regardless of the theme I choose. Choosing the theme was easier this time. I once made a game about breaking the rules for another game jam and while appreciate the theme because you can make some really cool games around it it is not my cup of tea so I focused on the next two themes games about famous paintings sounded much more interesting there are some artists whose work I really admire such as John Bauer, Zadislav Bekinski and MC Escher. You can do some really creative stuff with pictures. For example, you can enter them. My idea was to create a few levels based on the paintings of Zadislav Bekinski, which the player can explore. I love environment art, just look at the early videos on this channel, so this would have been a cool exercise, however, I was not really sure about what game mechanics I should use. Worse, I would have needed a handful of custom models and I am not that good in modeling, so making the surroundings I wanted would have taken me a lot of time, not only to make, but also to optimize. So for now I abandoned this idea, but I might revisit it in the future. What about Easter? When my siblings and I were young, on Easter Monday our parents took us to a small island close to our home where they hid some chocolate eggs for us to find. I really enjoyed these trips and decided to make April's game around it. Finding eggs is not the most interesting gameplay, but it's still more interesting than what I did in March, so it's an improvement, I guess. To make sure the game runs smoothly this time I wanted to use low poly assets. There is a low poly asset pack by Kenny, which which was one of the first asset packs I ever obtained and I wanted to use that one. However, I am not really a fan of textureless models, so I have chosen a couple of models, imported them to Blender, UV'd them and used some old photos as textures. The result is not the greatest, but it does not cause any performance issues. The gameplay went through a few iterations, the final version is this. Eggs are randomly spawning on the map, one at a time. When the egg is picked up, a new one spawns. 20 eggs spawn all together and the player needs to collect the eggs in the least amount of time. To make collecting easier, when an egg spawns, a path is created towards it from the current position of the player. I used C++ and Blueprint for the code, added a nav mesh to easily determine random spawn locations for the eggs. The nav mesh was also useful for the path. I obtained the nav mesh location of the newly spawned egg and the player and used the nav mesh's find path function to create a spline between them. However, when it came to sweeping the path mesh along the spline, it turned out that the ups and downs of the terrain were not all is followed by the spline and I could not increase the number of spline points calculated by the find path function. If you have a solution to this problem let me know in the comments. This time I did not receive any major criticisms which is fine I guess, so let me give feedback to myself. I am generally satisfied with the look of the map, however in my opinion gameplay was still lacking, so in the game for May I will focus on gameplay even more. And I better start working on the game because it is almost the end of April and running out of time is not fun, believe me. It has happened to me already back in January and my January game was only saved by a hard decision. If you want to know what that was, watch this video next.